This is our centrifuge model. It consists of a platform that's on a rotational base, and then two test tubes that are inverted. Each of the test tubes is filled with water and a ball. In this test tube, we have water and a ping pong ball, where the ping pong ball is less dense than the water, therefore it floats at the top of our test tube with the rest of the test tube filled with water. In this test tube, we have water and a brass ball. The brass ball is, is more dense than the water, therefore it sinks to the bottom of our test tube with the water residing above that ball. A centrifuge utilizes rotational motion in order to introduce a centrifugal force that acts outward from the center of rotation on the particles within our test tubes. The more massive the particle, the larger the centrifugal force that it experiences, and the further from the center of rotation those particles will lie. So the least dense material will be found near the center of rotation, and the most dense material will be found furthest from the center of rotation. our system slows down, you will start to see the brass ball move back towards the center of rotation. This is because there's no longer a centrifugal force strong enough to push that ball out of the way. And as it slows down, you will see that the ping pong ball will move back to the top of the test tube because the water is once again heavier than the ping pong ball and is experiencing less of a force. Therefore, it drops back down to the uh, bottom of our tube due to gravity.